today is uh, Somali World Tour Day. Um, I'm so, so, so new to Somali. I just started this year. Uh, a university I used to go to offer Somali uh, as a distance course and I felt like it's been a long time since I studied languages, so I uh, I wanted to give Somali a try. Why not? And of course, I'm gonna be taking notes in Obsidian because that's my software of choice, <laughs> as uh, might have been obvious by now. Uh, I didn't want to... As you'll see, I, there's a lot, of, a lot of notes in here that's extremely atomic. And I am I do use folders in my main vault, but I try not to. And I felt like a, a language learning course would be lots of folders. And um, um, I was right. So I, I just thought I'll, I'll just start a new vault with just Somali. As, as you can see here, I, I might just end up moving it to my main vault. But that's probably either when I'm done with the course or when I feel like I have control over the Somali vault, like where, when I know where everything is supposed to be, it's going to be easier to, to, to have a good system then. Uh, I have some inspiration for this um, language learning setup with the Obsidian. Uh, first of all, a YouTube user called Tara. I will leave um, a link to her video about her language vault down below. And also uh, I took some inspiration from Nicole van der Hoven's uh, video about how she uses Obsidian for her language learning. I think both videos have some really great ideas and I've used a lot of, of the ideas from both the videos in, in, in this vault. Even though I added some, uh, some of my own flair to it. Um, but here first is the... I, I, I made a note that's sort of like a home note. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here so far. I just have links to the lessons I've had so far. And um, yeah, I might do some more here. I might not. I, I don't know. I just thought it looked kind of nice. Um, but let's see here. I have... First of all, I have... Um, a folder for for the course itself and uh, so here I just have the weeks and then also our weekly zoom meetings um, it's nice to have it all uh, collected here so let's see like for week one I have I embed the videos um, straight into obsidian because I am um, I sync my vault with my phone and it's nice to just have everything collected in one space so that when I sync to my phone I don't have to find the video on YouTube again. So here's the, the video and um, he's made it available on YouTube so I could watch some stuff before I even started the course which was amazing. But uh, my workflow is just, I, li I, I listen to the video and I take short uh, bullet point notes about what I think sounds interesting, what I think I will need to remember. And um, then I go back and I read through like, mm, yeah, this could be its own note. And then I, I, uh, I make it an own note and then I, I leave the, the link to the note in the where it was in the bullet list so to speak and I do the same for the others and here's my my checklist on what I need to do for the week and then oh this I'm gonna show you this later it's uh, super smart and here I just have uh, the audio as well I'm not sh sure about this setup yet it's feels a bit cluttered but I'm gonna keep using it because I know that if I just keep using it keep tweaking it it'll get better as I as I keep working on it and it will just sort itself out don't worry about finding the the perfect setup from the start just start and then you tweak it 
as you go. You will find that after a while you have a setup that's just flawless. Let's uh, move on to my dictionary folder. This is about as atomic as you can get uh, if you're into that sort of notes. Um, I got this idea from, from Tara here on YouTube. Uh, and uh, let's see here. This is just, you know, where I keep all the words I need to learn. Um, it's basically what it says on the box. I add my words here. And as you can see, I have the English translation, both in the YAML space and also down here. Uh, I mean, it's, it might seem redundant, but I wanted to make flashcards and I couldn't get it to work without the Somali to English down in the note itself here. So this is just the note, the, the, the word and then the word again for the flashcard. And then I have just some uh, some endings and stuff to, to change the, the word. I, I didn't want to make flashcard of these yet, but I wanted to keep them all under the same root word, so to speak. Uh, we can watch some other words. Here's uh, some subject endings. We have some definite articles. So you know, I, I, there is a lot to keep track of and um, for me, flashcards and spaced repetitions is, is, very, is a very good way to learn for me. So this is perfect. The embed folder is also very self-explanatory. Anything I want to embed, like audio, PDFs, pictures, I, I put them in here. And that's it's the same for like the reason I do embed stuff. It's because I want I want them to sync flawlessly with my phone. I don't want to have to look videos up in a folder, I don't want to search for the audio files, so I just have everything here. So here's all the audio and here's the, the PDFs. And um, I use... Uh, I don't use Obsidian Sync. Uh, I do... I, I use uh, Sync Thing instead. Um, because I, I just need to sync from my phone to my computer and if I'm out and I write something on my phone I, it doesn't have to sync with my home vault I mean I can just when I get back home and back to our um, our own network it, it syncs and that's all I need because I, I don't need to sync when I'm away from home but it's it's super easy to set up and um, I'll I mean for me it's just very basic syncing so it's very easy for me I know the software can do a lot of things, but for me it's very easy and I um, I thought I was going to do a, a video about how I set it up. I, I haven't figured out properly how to to show that, but I, I'm planning on showing how to set up sync thing to sync your vault from your computer to your phone or computer to another computer. Here is my grammar folder. I think I have grammar dyslexia or something because grammar just does not stick in my brain and that's sad because I have a linguistic degree um, but I think I failed both grammar modules like three times before I passed <laughs> that's um, embarrassing but uh, you know you know your weaknesses so I'm gonna put everything that has to do with grammar here so um, I'll get an easier overview and uh, maybe I can make some sort of connections that make, that make it click in my brain. Uh, that's a good, that's the good thing with the Obsidian, that when I, when you have this sort of overview, things start to click. So I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> the Obsidian magic can work for me. And maybe I'll get out of my grammar blindness. And uh, yeah, here I just put stuff that I forget what it is. Since I had a folder for grammar, I thought phonology deserved its own folder as well. Not that many notes here yet, um, but I'll, 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 I'm sure I'll have more to add here. But 
I just thought that, you know, why not have a folder? You know, folders are nice. The template fold is also very straightforward. I only have three templates so far, one for uh, adding new words, one for lessons and one for class notes. Uh, lessons is what I call my base note for the week where I put my notes from reading the books and listening to the recordings and stuff. And the class note template is just for Zoom lectures. Um, I'm gonna try and um, I'm gonna use quick add in this vault so I can just uh, quickly add a new word when I listen to the Zoom lectures because last time I had to sort of go back and forth and I, I really rather not so hopefully I'll, I'll get a nice quick add macro or something working here so uh, this will be even more flawless to finish up I thought we'd do some flashcards using this community app called um, spaced repetition let me shake yes spaced repetition um, you saw all those uh, words with uh, three colons. If I add a tag flashcards to a note that has these words with three colons, they, uh, they show this plugin that I want them as flashcards. And uh, when there are three colons, that means I want to practice the word in both uh, English to Somali and Somali to English. So let's open up. Here we can see that I have 57 total cards. I have zero uh, cards to practice um, that I have practiced before, but I have six new cards from um, the, the Zoom class I had. So let's see, here we go. So this is uh, cabbage. That will be cabbage. Let's see, yes, I was right. So there you can see, uh, if, if I found the word hard, I can press here. That means that I'll review it again tomorrow. And if I thought I had an easy easier time with it, I could press this one. But I, I felt that this was an easy card. So I'll press this and you'll see that it won't show me this card for about three and a half days. Um, so that's how that app works. We don't have to go through all the new cards today. We can save those for another time. Um, so this is how my vault is set up for now. It's not that big yet, but I thought that I could go back to it in a month or two and we can go through it again, see how it's changed and uh, see if I have some uh, better grasp on everything. We can practice some more words. Um, if you have any questions about uh, the setup or something, just um, ask away in the comment section. Uh, as I said before, I will leave a, no uh, a link to, um, to, to Nicole and to Tara's video so you can see how their setup is.